Alright guys, be strong. We're almost done with this whole templating thing. And in this video, I want to talk about our edit underscore info dot PHP page because I wanna I wanna have all our edit pages, information pages underneath what we already had here. So it's all on the same page. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to scroll down all the way to the bottom where you see your footer. And I'm going to add some code in here right beneath my cancel link right there. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to give it some on-page CSS. And I'll just call this, we'll give it a, a top padding or margin 2 EMs because we're on the EM system and not the pixel system. Uh, border top, I want it to go all the way through. Um, one pixel solid black, or if you know the hex pattern, for black it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and close that out. And before I forget, I'm going to put my div tag, I'm going to close my div tag right there. And okay, with my div style, I'm gonna go ahead and get it, give it an H3 tag because I'm going to title this pages in this information. Let's go ahead and close that out. And then we need to create an unordered list. I'll put that right here. And I'll go ahead and close that out right here. Okay. Now, in order for us to return our data, we need to create some more PHP. And there's not that, that's, there's not that much more PHP that we need to code, but there's still some. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and give info pages equals get pages for info, the function that we have been using, and then our cell table one table, and let's go ahead, uh oh, we got to index our ID in single quotations right there. Let's go ahead and close that out. Now, line down, I want to go ahead and run a while loop. So while page, is it page or it's a new variable, we'll just call it page, SQL fetch array. This is the PHP function where we use our return data, if there is any. And what is our variable right here? Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's plug that in just like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and execute what we want to execute. And in this case, I want to go ahead and echo a list item, HTML link tag. And remember the backspace content.php and what we want to include in our URL page equals our variable that we just created with an index of ID that we have set to our primary keys as well as auto increment for those who remember way 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 back when and let's go ahead and close this out I'm gonna pause the video and look at this Everything looks perfect. So now inside our href HTML link tag, what we want to do is we want to pull in our new page that we're going to be able to create, delete, and add on the fly. And what are we missing now? Just an href closing tag as well as a li closing tag and I think a double quotation. Let's close that out. Let me look at this again. Okay, everything looks perfect so far. There's one last thing I want to do. I want to go ahead and directly above my unordered list tag, I'm going to go ahead and create a break tag. And under here, I'm going to go ahead and 
create another link that's going to link to the page we created, our new underscore page.php page. New underscore page.php with our query string of info equals um, PHP echo um, cell table with an index of ID and let's go ahead and close this out and I still feel like we're missing something we are double quotations as well as another greater than sign inside here I'm gonna drop down a line and I'm gonna include the fonts add a new page to this information let's go ahead and close that out closing a tag I'm gonna go ahead and save that and that's all I want to do in this video so good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next one